Hey YouTubers, KB here with a great review of Cube Men 2. This is available on Steam, the iPhone, and the Mac Store. This is a fast-paced, action-packed 3D strategy game that allows you to play multiple game modes, including Capture the Flag, Skirmish, Territory, and a simple uh, against the AI or versus online with an in-depth map creator and various number of skins you can download and purchase through the in-app purchases. As you see here, this jump right into some of the gameplay. Uh, all the modes start out with a little tower that you have there and you spawn your various units from there. These units can be cost the certain amount of cubes that you accumulate. The more you kill, the more you, things you do, you accumulate these cubes. And one of the basic units that you can unlock is a one that has a basic pistol and he's cost very cheaply and you can actually upgrade uh, throughout the gameplay up to level 3 uh, increasing their health, damage, and their range of their weapons. Um, as I said before the very first basic is uh, a pistol, then you have a flamethrower, then you have like a melee individual, mortar, uh, rocket, laser, sniper, and then you have other abilities that are just basically human shields or ones that can transform into mines, uh, allowing you to create an AoE damage. Um, as you see here, this is some of the basic uh, gameplay, showing off the very beginning characters, and I just uh, picked up that box for extra damage. Um, as you see here, I have a flamethrower coming close, he's going to flame these guys. Again, this is on very easy mode, and I will jump to some more complex gameplay and actually show off some of the skins that you can do for the environment and also your individual. Some of them that come free with the uh, app are like a cowboy, uh, medieval knight, and I think some like robotic kind of futuristic skins. Also being able to change the terrain into a forest or the various different color schemes allowing the player to do a customizable thing. And I'll, I'll jump to the uh, later gameplay now and show off some of the later gameplay with some of more of the individuals that you can play with the Cubemen showing off some of the favorite classes that I like, the sniper and the homing rocket which is pretty cool. As you see here, I try to change the skin to a more like a city-like. It still looks like the basic gray. I should have gone with the Highland one, where it shows off like almost looks like a Minecraft feel to it. As you see here, these are the little kind of the wallies I call them uh, that actually destroy your base. You have to try to take those out no matter what. And your troops that you build are more for just defense. They can't actually take out the tower. They're more to defend your tower and send the individuals in uh, to blow up their enemy tower. This game allows any player on any level to try to master and hone his or her skills. Um, again, this is on the very easiest basic level. Um, trying to master these and actually me trying it on much harder levels becomes quite complex and overwhelming. So allowing the player to slowly build up his or her confidence or skill within the game to become a master in it. And especially for the iPad, the touch controls work very well with it. Um, some of the features you can see on the bottom, you can see the camera view, which is when you click it, it's more like a direct bird's eye view from the top down. Um, you also have the music, you can kind of change the tone of the music. You also have the pause button, which is the basic menu, the options. Um, and then on the bottom left, you actually see what character you selected. You see their damage, their health, what level they are. You can sell them, or what's their next level for their upgrade would be. Um, and then you see on the top uh, right hand side on how many cubes I have accumulated, by how many I kill, uh, and things like that. And by that, you can upgrade your players or build more. I'm going to fast forward to later in this match because this match lasts about 10 minutes. 
Um, as you see here, I kind of took the uphill position, so any enemies that came out of their fortress, I took out. Uh, as you can see, my cool rocket guy that I upgraded is taking out the enemies with the one amazing shot. Uh, the sound effects are great, and I'm just trying to take a position allowing them not to even come out of their base. Um, as you see inside, they have uh, enemies guarding all, guarding all four of their little corners, so it's going to be hard to jump in there. And you see my sniper setting up. I'm going to try to upgrade him and move him in a position where he's not vulnerable but able to, to kill individuals. I'm slowly moving up my troops around the main ramp uh, to position myself and my wall is to destroy their tower. Just try to imagine on this particular map if they can have up to four more uh, enemies on here or players. Imagine how much the chaos would be with all the shooting and blasting going around and how amazing that would be. This game also offers great ways for online ranking and trying to compare with your friends or other high scores on the internet. Not just through multiplayer but through the single player campaign. As you see here I'm slowly moving in and starting to take out all those individuals in there. You can kind of see my homing rockets are actually hitting the corner of the, the wall there, not to try to get the guy around the corner, so I moved him up just ever so slightly uh, to get the kill. From this point on, I basically just uh, conquer everything and just have my wallies come in to destroy everything. But uh, I'll take this time to mention, say thank you everyone for watching and the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, if you have any comments, questions or anything, Feel free to hit me up through YouTube or Twitter or whatever device, Caring Pigeon, or even fax me, which I don't have a fax, but you can try that anyways. Anywho, back to some of the gameplay. As you see here, I'm slowly conquering everything, moving my guys in the corners that they were defending and basically annihilating anything that would even come out of their spawn. Um, this is basically a, a done match. Um, but uh, definitely, I'm going to try to upgrade my channel to with different various games, not just mobile. Maybe showing some more Battlefield 3 or the highly hyped Battlefield 4 coming out soon. And other games, uh, especially particular E3 is going on. It's got me all hyped up about various games.